operating day on ASS and I'm learning to overfly as a goal. I think that's a, a pretty good way of looking at it. It really annoyed the other box doing it, but also the other side of it is feeling a little bit uncomfortable yeah. with it, you know. And I think the timing, Sean, you went down, you just went a little bit late and they saw you happen. You either got to get down there after goal and just stay there, but you know, as I said, it's like a rabbit running through, oh, did you see him go? So you either, you got to get down there, and one good way is get in and hide behind the full forward. Get in and hide, stand in the square and hide there. Yeah. All right, behind the forward and bars are down there. Yeah. Okay, and just before you remember, Justin's got a habit of sneaking down like this, <laughs> rearing up like a bloody great albatross, all right? He does, he sneaks around the pack, so when you're looking at it again, you can't see, all right? So just got a few checks, he's like that. They always line up on the defensive side, the boundary throwings. If they're going that way, they'll always get around like Brisbane. So we've got to get in amongst it, all right? We're going to get, and we've got a gap there for the what? Like to grab it then. We've got, you know, they're all there, Liam, come and grab it, alright? It doesn't have to be you, some are grabbing it, okay? And some are not going to be down the throwing. You've got to manipulate their ruckman, alright? Manipulate to. Um, Alan's quite good. He's a bit of a rucker over, actually, yeah. you know? So don't don't think, oh, they won't go to no, we'll go to him. And he, and he actually likes to run down the ball, ground a bit. Forward line, 40 metres apart at all times. The hardest thing to do that is when the ball's in the forward pocket somewhere. You know, it looks ideally when the ball's there. You come over, you come over. You've got to, that's the hardest part. That's the part that means show great discipline if he can do that. All right? I was watching Darcy and uh, Cummings before out there. They were doing it like the pocket. Darcy went and stood over here and he, and he probably think that he does. What am I doing over here? I'll need a kick. But he was smart enough and Cummings went and stood there. Whereas the young kids just all give me a horse ball. Get over there and they clogged it up. So that's real, that's thinking. Kick in attack. We'll go to the four options. Our normal free play one. Our one on one one, which I, I don't know how much we've been using. I don't think we've been using great for Gary O. Yeah, probably that is more than any other though. Oh, well, it's, it's very hard to tell up the top sometimes what's happening, but whatever happened, the flood for the two tools, okay, so we've got to get who the two tools we've got to have out the side. Okay, counted, I put pressure on leads, running down the ground has improved. Accountability was a bit of a problem at times. We lost half, didn't we, last week? We lost a few blokes. Once you get rid of the ball, Hilsey, you kick the ball, you've got to go and find Hannah. Just got to go and find him. Just like Justin did in that video, go and find your man. It's when the ball's up your end. When you, it's when you kick the ball up your end, you've got to find your man. Not when your ball goes into our back line, in the midfield. That's when you start becoming a target, isn't it? It's when the ball goes in the forward line, you've got to go and find your man. Win the ball, close down space. Well, that's our best one. We're excellent at that. And it's spoiled. But it's midfielders and backmen. I know it's only excuse forwards not been doing, but that's in reality where it happens. All right, now that's not too much, that's it. You know about the centre bounce, it's smart, but take them off, just take them off. Man, the board thing, fellas, we were sensational last week at the team rules. We might have opened up them, but it's better to undo them, don't you reckon? Off the ground, give it out. Any questions? 
in the depth of the ocean, <coughs> any doubt come to you, given that all that is blue given. All right, give it to them. Let them have all the bits of blue. The cattle gets the first touch, and the bears are all the way down. Watch the bear with the old instruments. Play the helmet. You should be going to yourself with our own. Opportunities and smoke and joke the seat. She's been a tremendous form this year. Dinner switches it back. Setting it up for David Flood. Flood's uh, back of a defender today. The Zinner Hunt will be a rider because you've been great. We'll keep his own Steve and Bertie. Right now, we're going to try to might play Zinner Hunt back. But you've got to be aware of when you're on the bench watching this ball. The ball is trying to get in it, boys. To kick the ball to the right spot for your team, mate. And you use your vision, you'll get the reward for all the running coming down the ground. What really must give you the shits and gives us the time is when you do all the running and create and you use the ball shit out. It's no, that's no value at all because it rebounds back on you. Then you're running that way trying to pick your bloody man up, isn't it? Really good start. Get off to a start bloody cruise, isn't it? Particularly in these games. And off the table, one one answer, two point Brisbane. It's about 50 metres away from that. Just on that one, Joe, they're really tagging you close. Right. There. Walk him right into him. Right? Walk him right in. And then come out just after the ball, that's the ball's getting in. We'll give you a chance. See if he can get tangled up in the ruck body deal. Try and walk him right in. Always when you're watching a player with the ball, have a look at their eyes. To see where they're looking. If they're looking over there, bloody will pay attention over there. That's where, where, where you really got to concentrate, making sure that. That's the sort of stuff, Dustin, what I was talking about in the phone today. Where are they? That sort of stuff. Get out, the ball's here. Bloody will go for it, you know. That's a part of defense, bloody getting it back off. Good look. You could have probably talked to him, Mick. A little bit of talking there. You hide a bit, okay? Don't just run along. Bomb it! Right on you! That sort of stuff. Too easy. That's what cost David his spot. So you really got to be right on the bloody hammer there. This game is all about we get first, second spot after the bloody five o'clock tonight. Cockatoo Collins never played. Alicia never played. O'Connor, Young and Harvard. I reckon those players there, everyone else played, right? They've got eight that haven't played, depending on whether Mitchell plays or not. I think, I personally think, we've got the better players of the six. We've got six bloody good players coming in. They've got eight. Now, Clap A is a better player than what you think. I've watched the video, he's really close. He's a pretty smart player. Don't underestimate him. He's a real good player. Camparelli is a player that will run and cut and weave and run. So you're really going to put pressure on him, Rick, as I spoke to you today about, all right? Alan will take you on. And don't let him come on the ground, as I mentioned last week, and take the game on and they get a couple of goals, as the commentator has been telling you. The commentator tells you sometimes how the other mob are doing because they watch him more often. Rice coming back from a knee injury again. That's, you know, when you're thinking about it, he's probably going to be in his mind. Not sure, not sure. I hope it goes all right. White has been a good player, but makes a, a number of poor decisions at times. Got away. A couple of free kicks last week, got really tackled from behind and put under pressure. And I thought that you, there could be a couple of goals there that we probably don't know a lot about that player. O'Sullivan, you know. Cook, well, he'd be wanting to really take the spot of Silva, you know, sorry, of um, Kernahan if he's out for a while, isn't he? He's going to want to play a big one and improve in their selection. And Bond, I think Gavin, you mentioned during the week, he only got to get two or three shots of goals and he'll kick two or three, won't he? He doesn't get a lot of 20 possessions, but he'll kick you two or three. Okay, boys, that's it. Hannah, if we can shut down Hannah, we shut down Bradley on top of Williams and Kernahan going out, the, you, we're in with a real good chance. Let's go. Well, so take those you the real point you are going to make him operate at all
Okay, by the way. Stick to the team rules, mate. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. All right? Yeah, we're all nervous. Been out for a few, so uh, we'll just stick to the team rules. We'll give you all the support you need. We'll have a good win today, all right? Give me a Thanks, Joey Massetti, mate, and Gary O'Donnell, I think. Good luck, mate. Yep, have a good game. Just uh, get out there and get a kick, and then you'll fall in the place for me. Right. Just sit up. Just relax. See so if you can relax and uh, get a bit of oil on you.
bloody run, sit on the beach and make sure you're picking some knowledge up. Don't drift with your mind. Have a good look at it. Make sure jumpers are in. Three guys got tackled out there. The bloody jumpers came out. And bloody Glenn Manton was one of them. From that point of view, in other words, we never fixed him up when he was bloody well here, that's what I'm saying. Right, so when we send out a message, we'll send out a guy. Two minutes to go, all right? That means two minutes to go. We don't get any bloody goals in that last two or three minutes, all right? That means you work your ass off right to the bloody siren. To what and last bloody week? Goal right on the siren. Four and quarter, sorry, four for the match, that's four. It's enough to, we could have won by eight or nine. Don't drop off in the last three or four minutes of a quarter. And don't stuff around, chipping the ball around. You know what's been going on. Over possessing the ball in this weather. Starting to get a bit cloudy out there, could rain, so you're going to have to have a, a mental capacity to move from dry weather football here because it could be raining by half time or during a quarter. We, we can't actually bloody will tell every one of you to switch over to wet weather skills. You've got to have that in your capacity. Centre bounces starts the games. Let's have a look at the centre bounces, how direct you were last week. And look at the reward you got for being direct. The pass to the favourite side of his teammate. <laughs> when that's how quick a goal can be scored. I if you're switched on for us, but B if you're not switched on for the opposition. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a look at that sort of stuff. And you say we get a goal in a minute. It's all measured the steps of the same, very, very professional. James Hurst, the third goal, goal number three. Right, now let's have a look at the next centre bounce. Now the centre bank, here we go. This is a crucial centre. 30 seconds. 
time zone, if we keep the ball down our end. And by moving it quickly, that's the sort of kick, the one to bloody rhyme that I'm on, on about and the one to hurt him, alright? When you really have the courage to run, don't f around, and move the ball quickly to your forward line, when we haven't got it, then we start bloody all tackling and chasing and pitting our kids. <coughs> and the pitting and the arms is a, a very important part against calm because they lift their hands up, don't they? <coughs> they keep moving it out all the time. So when you tackle, try and get one arm. When the arm's going to go up, try and get hold of it and make sure you're bloody all, you know, run away the ball, either get a free kick yourself so you get a reward, but make sure if it goes to the ground that we're there, you know, just getting crumbs and bit. As I said to you, bring the ball up and give it to the umpire. Let's see if we're locked in on that one, eh? What about that bomb? Two years ago, so we haven't really worked hard on it since. So bring the ball in a pat, we fight and give it to the umpire because we know that either we've got a player who's been picked up or the bomber Thompson's got the ball, man up, as you're giving it to the umpire. So we don't have loose guys getting around the edges. Okay, Mark, I'll leave you in the room right, with the players. <coughs> Crucial game, you only get an opportunity to get in the one two spot. Last year, where did we end up? 10 minutes. We never got a chance to one-two last year at all. Well, this is a crucial game. Right. I'll leave you here with the players. Okay? One. He's a good guy. Okay. Boys, just here, planting of the seed early is a very important because they're not sure, are they? They've lost bloody Kernahan, <coughs> lost Williams. They're going to want to make up for that. Parker, you know, he's going to be pumped up, chained well. Every one of the Carlton players have got to have 2%. Well, we've got to match that 2% in particular after they leave him in the other room. But always keep considering what, what the others are thinking as well as ourselves. <coughs> Let's go, boys. Fall out. Fall out. Let's go. You play. Stay here with Mark Thompson. Okay. You stay. Alright, boys. I just uh, playing cards. Always a big game in the half, fish. And uh, like uh, going back the last four years, when we've had it over them, we've had it over them because we play a certain style of game. And I reckon it's f***ing ferocious at the ball. We are. We have been ferocious at the ball, and we've made them because what they love most, I believe. Run down the ground, have an easy possession out of the back line, and picking passes off. Our pressure's been fantastic, and I reckon we really should concentrate on that one aspect of the game just the pressure. Pressure from the midfield, and pressure in our forward line. What do you reckon, Book? Yeah, we've beaten them last few years, so they're going to come out pumped up as she <coughs> So we're going to throw everything at us early, so if we can match them early, get on top. Be even with them, even if we're even with them at quarter time because they're good starters, they've been saying good this year. We're even with them at quarter time, then we've got another 90 minutes to get in the them. Don't underestimate how hot it's going to be at the start. We've had two pretty casual games the last two weeks. Yeah. Make sure that we are there at the start drive, drive. contesting hard. Just put yourself in, in there, boys. You know, in the last couple of years, we, we have given them some fairly sort of bad losses and shit like that. So if you put yourself in that position, how, do you, how, how would you react? You just come out and run. I want to hit it with everything. Hey boys, that's how we've been most times, isn't it? Team rules. We really need to stick to it in big games. And it's always a big game when you play. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Don't be trying to read our boys. Here's a group. Here's a group. Okay, now we've got a minute before we go out. Get a kick on your boot early. You ready? A little quicker than what you've been doing, but just get a boot on on your boot early. serious about it in the first quarter. If we come in at five goals, it's I'm not going to be having a bloody hunt, you know. But I definitely, we don't definitely want a bloody 6-1 there, won't do it. No way, come on. Come on, come on, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on,
Well, collision between two Carlton teammates down there. Clappe comes out with the football, past Wanganeen, kicks the half forward, punch away by Simons. Ola Renshaw, a little flick out to Simons, and the Bombers will go forward. Michael Long takes it from Grenville. Still they come. This is Hills. Cockatoo Collins, the target. Very nearly took the mark. Great effort to take that grab in front of Ange Christou. A bounce just outside 50. Madden, Hurd, ball spills free, Ola Renshaw, a little quick gift to Hills, then he had his head taken off, Cockatoo Collins has got it, but the free is going the Bombers' way. This goes to show their depth, but of course we only have depth when you don't have injuries. And the they bombers. won easily, by the way, they did. The sun comes out, shining on Hills as he goes at goal, and kicks the first one of the match. He does the kicking in. Looks for and finds Gavin Wangadine, the Bradlow medalist, back into the side today after injury from left half back. Wangadine kicks to a congested centre wing area. Ball hits the deck. McCurry looking for someone going past. Finds Michael Long in great form already. Long centre and kick to Cocker to Collins. Like radar. Right thigh heavily bandaged. Target is hurt. No, he took the mark. Buick, right foot step. He's going goal. A minute left in the quarter. Kudafidis does the ruck work long. A little bit of basketball there. Kudafidis applies the tackle. That'll be high on Bond, surely. Umpires had, has seen it. And Bond will take the free kick. Gives it to Bradley. Around O'Donnell, or is he? Good tackle! Back to Brown. He goes at goal from 65 metres. This time, James Cook. He runs around, kicks, looks pretty good, I think he's got it. It's a goal. So a mixed quarter for James Cook right on the siren. Carlton hit the lead at the MCG. And the scores, a crackerjack opening quarter. The Blues leading by one goal at the first change. Okay, look. I want the forward line down there and the back line up here. The centre square and the uh, centre line here. Okay, Mickey Simons? Yeah, my goal. I'm going to get another goal, all right? Okay. Right, all right. No goal. Now we've worked hard, and we haven't got a decent enough score at the moment for the work, is it? Yeah. Four set shots missed. <coughs> Salmon, McCurry, Buick, and Hurd. So let's get the goals, all right? Get all the bloody work the back line's doing and bringing it down. Then you get a reward on the, on the scoreboard. <coughs> and, and one minute to go, and a goal on the boys. Yeah. Keep moving your arms up in this area. <coughs> now when you're zoning up, make sure you turn around and put your zone up properly, okay? Switch on. Jay, when you come on, before in the first quarter, right? You're running back and they're ready to kick. I want you coming back with your eyes on the play, all right, mate? Okay. Joe? Yeah, yeah. Just hit the hands. Hey, look. That's it in a board. You're in a disadvantage spot. The ball's not going to spill out all the time. That's the goal that might be here. Just one little thing like that. It's what you remember under pressure. But you've got to keep working, all right? 
Now look, we've got to get off to a bloody good start here. I'm going to leave the team as it is. I told you that look, it could have been 2-5, two, 2-5, five, two, five, except for the last 60 seconds. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, now let's start building into the game. The 90 minutes to go, we give them no opportunity now. We don't want them to run out there and kick the first <laughs> two goals. Their best hope to win this game is to get a break on us because they're an older side, aren't they? Yep. All right, so make sure you keep working the ball and let's see if we can get better results from, than the two goals of what we got in the last half. Set a bounce. When Sunday or Sunday's in there, just make sure you're encouraging your bloody to get the ball down here and break it up every now and then with a good strong fist down the bloody middle. Just break it up a little bit. Don't try and hit it there all the time. If you want to have the opportunity to belt one, you know, just put your hand in the front of your bloody, you know, short, right? And then you know that you guys in the half wall line will be ready and be alert to Let's get in it straight away. Come on, Come on, Come on, Second quarter from the MCG, the Blues leading in light rain. Six points the difference. Brown up towards full forward. No mark taken, a little give by Masiti. Out to Thompson. Relays it to Wanganeen. He went uh, out of bounds with that. Masiti along the ground, but only back to Brown from a standing start. Long bomb with the left foot. And he's just off target and through for only one behind. And Cook stands the mark. Simon's pretty good in the first quarter. Five and four, Pete. Created a lot of opportunities, including a nice run down the ground. Wanganeen and Gleeson. Wanganeen with the speed. Good chase by Gleeson. The kick by Wanganeen. Looking for Michael Long. He doesn't let him down. Oh, look at the pace of Long. Didn't he make up some ground? Well, Goodness he's come back me. from a knee reconstruction and tremendous pace. Here's Hurd and Sylvania. I'm really enjoying this. Look at Hurd going to ground. Oh, all, oh, oh. all over his neck yeah, and kick. shoulder. Had to be a free kick. In fact, it was really against Peter Dean in the finish. It was. So Hurd is a sensational player. James Hurd in towards half foot. It holds up in the breeze, but Big Alessio is there to mark over the shot of Justin Madden. Won't be an easy shot for goal. Swirling wind, as we said. He'll have to kick from about 51 metres. Ooh, there's a drop part. A beautiful kick. Clears the fence for goal. Grabbed by Wanganeen. Under the left boot, cool, calm and collected, and he finds Simons. Those two are doing very well down there in defence. Michael Simons wearing the gloves. He's a very strong player overhead. A low pass finds uh, Darren Buick. Good kick. Oh, great kick to Mercuria. Tremendous kick. That's how you kick a football. In the hills. Hills races into the half-board area. Kicks, oh, it's, props it up high. Here they come from behind. Oh! Is it Somerville? No, it was Alessio. Alessio, in fact. Madden coming off the ground and Allen on as Alessio kicks and pops it through. Danger for Essendon here. Still he goes, Bradley. Good. Centering kick. Gleason. Perfect vision. What a kick. Fantastic kick. He's found a pretty tough game now, Bradley, against O'Donnell, who always plays pretty tight. Just the four kicks for Bradley, but... Terrific one, that. So Adrian Gleeson directly in front of goal. A chance to regain the lead for Carlton. Hit the post. So scores level again. Gleeson. Cockatoo Collins chases. High kick. Wanganeen. Only one there. The Grand Low Medalist once again does the mopping up. And there's the siren. To end the first half. And the scores all tied up. Carlton 4 7 31. Essendon 4 7 31. Mark, what's it like out there? Oh, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. Pace is on. Can't get any closer than this, can you? Half the time. Level. They're the team that break first. Come on, boys, let's see if we can use the ball a bit better. 
Get on your bloody man when they've got it. And it's only thinking. I don't think you're an undisciplined person, right? So how do I make your bloody brain think about, right? Have to bring you off every time like that? I don't want to. So you're fresh. When you get back on, let's contribute a bit better than anybody else. Okay, so we've got Yummy and Bomber and Fish on the bench. We'll run off the bench something. Right, so you start. And you go on and them. Right. So we've got to get more goals out of our approach on the floor line, don't we? <coughs> this year, you know, really, I mean, like, we've missed five, six set shots. So when you go back, you don't often get a bloody set shot. Really take your time. Really bloody line it up so we get that f***ing goal. Tackles and chips went down. Okay? Now make sure that we don't drop off on that area. Now, third corner, Carlton. I've set a square for a start off. It's in three. Carlton, oh, five. We don't want the bloody ball starting on the Carlton floor line. We don't want that. Let's take it because we're going to work all the way back. And we spoke about having the ball <coughs> in our time zone. So let's keep it down there. If you keep it down there, it gives you a chance for your back line players, right, to rebound and keep moving. So, Ryan, you said a half back? Yeah. That means I've no goals for the half. No, 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 no. no. <coughs> Nicky, been giving us a good run. Gavin, you know, don't lift off and drop back on him. Be right on him, right? Then read it when, you, when, you, when it comes down. Uh, a couple of times he's been caught behind for him, even though you you know, 16, 17 possessions, but I don't want any goals, but I'm going to keep on. Come on, mate. 
Two H's, Hills and Hannah. Scores level as we start the third quarter at the MCG. Between 70 and 80,000, we'd reckon here to see this round seven match. Madden to Ratton. No one out there. And Dean Rice. And he's kicked three for the match, 410 to 47. Well, Gleeson's on his own out here at half-back, if it can reach him, but... Ah, oh, Hurd, fantastic reading of the play. Great play by Hurd. There's two men on the mark, so uh, Hurd brings it in towards full forward. It'll clear the pack. Danger here, because yes, and oh, well done by Alessio as he gets it to Ricky Oller in short. He hooks it around the body on the left. He's kicked the great goal. Well played, Alessio. Oh, Kuda Finney's has fallen. I wonder what sort of stops he's got. Long receives. He goes Michael Long, boots it in the wood full forward, but look at Peter Dean. Oh, he's dropped the sitter, he read, he read it well. This will be a goal. Alessio off the ground, bad mistake, Carlton. It's his third. I believe Peter Dean to drop a chess mark. Fair dictum. Gives it to Dean, he'd be very keen to make amends for what happened before when Alessio got that goal. Rice, oh, spring in the legs. Hardwick comes away with the football and gets nearly KO'd for his efforts. Back it comes to Masiti. Masiti from a standing start. Long. Well, it bounced for him. It does. Centering kick by him. Beautiful skills. On to McCurry. 48 metres out. Goes it. Goal. And has missed. Is that better? Four, three. Four behinds. Grabbed by Hurd. Here's Alessio. <laughs> what can the Bombers do? Alessio around the corner and puts it over the line and out on the ball. And Simons has hurt himself. Cramp, I think, is it? He's just got a bit of cramp, I believe. Siren due to go. In fact, there it is. The three-quarter time. A real low-scoring affair, this one. 4-7 at half-time apiece. And Essendon probably had 65% of the play in that quarter. And they've managed to stretch the lead, or manufacture a lead, of just six points. Hey guys, you won that quarter, I 
Pressure's on. So handball, handball, good long kick for the favourite side of your tall. If you can't mark it, you've got a fist on it, didn't you? Contest. Isn't it better to be kicking a goal from five yards out to the front, eh? Hey? Yeah, bloody hell, and that's why we just hit the front. Oh, oh, Try boys, one in. First goal. No, no, no. The city, Fletcher, Harbwick, Simons, and O'Connor. At the moment, that's the back line. It depends whether Glenn Bowl. Where are you, David? Yeah, right. Okay. You and. Um, Christian will be moving up and down here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you're the floating back one or the floor one. I might have an extra guy on the floor. Two defence. Gavin? Yeah. See if you can get a goal from it. Now we've got Oliver and Shaw, Long and Hills across the centre line. Hewitt, Hurd, Covered Air Collins, Wanganine, Bomber, uh, sorry, Youngy and uh, Alessio, so there's the forwards, right? Hewitt, Hurd, Cockatoo Collins, Wingley, and Alessio, and Young should give us enough goal power. Now, what we're going to do is get it down. Move back out of the road, I'll tell you. Right back out of the road. Ship it there back, fellas. Keep working the ship it. In the centre, one or two handball through here, and a good pass to your tall. <coughs> now, if you're kicking it to your tall, you sit it a bit. Not too much. Don't block, okay. you know, just don't bomb it away. Give him a chance. You fight your ass off when he gets down there. I heard him yeah. early in the quarter. You played on a little bit early. Right? Give him a chance to get down there because he might have lived just up behind you. So have a look. Come to have a look and see if you, you can just sit up there. All right now, look. I want to have a win. Come on. The team that wants to Come play on. Right in the double chance in the finals. Half an hour. Your best ever footy. A rebound in playing out of the back line. It's going to be Essendon. You're younger and fitter. You're just going to make you make sure that you're. And want to play on quickly. Come on, 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 come Needs to lift. Hand passes to Camparelli. Two fumbles. Still a clean disposal. Camparelli. Long right footer into the 10 metre square and it rolls through for a minor score to make the difference. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Bounce to a right hand turn. Shepherd by Fletcher for Hardwick. Still he goes. Hannah's nearly got him. Quick kick by Hardwick up towards centre wing. Players both sides very tired, but Carlton certainly finishing the better. Great tackle by Buick on Camparelli. Jarred free, Alessio's kick, Salmon marks. He turns around quickly, he's got two players free. Oh, you must get around Too quickly. Late. I'll get the goal, very young. Boy, did they need that one. Oh, young indeed. Christou, 
had been smothered by Cockatoo Collins, ineffective. Gleeson, oh, he had his head taken off. Michael Long, Courage, onto O'Donnell. Standing start, kick down to half forward. Over the head of Steve Alessio. Heard. Leads support. Goes at goal. Seven! Well, one of you was going at goal, Peter. I think you're right there. But given the benefit, it was a good pass. Not brilliant stats for the fish, but of course, as I mentioned earlier, has spent a fair time on the bench. 15 metres out, directly in front, doesn't miss these, and has it, seven goals. His first for the day, and a valuable one for Essendon, the difference back to nine points. Young, couldn't take the mark. Good spoil by Crystal, Masiti, nice flipping, back to Young. Ryan O'Connor, too far out to score, booming drop punt. Special guest on our Four Quarters program last night. Let's see what he can do with this. Distance won't be a problem for him. He kicks and goals. There's a kick in it. Rice slaps it back. Some of them in the road. Lopes across the half-back line. Nothing on offer for him. Finally kicks it up towards O'Donnell. What can they do, the Bombers? They've got 25 seconds. Here's Silvani at the back. The Bombers a chance. Salmon around the corner. They need a mark to Simons. He can't do so. He's got two to beat. And Peter Dean dives. Free and kick. Helps free kick to Simons. Oh, free kick. For holding on. I think they might run out of time anyway. He's going to kick the goal here, Michael Simons, from the boundary line. No, he's bringing it across with a short one. He's found Barry oh, 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 he gets a button by. That might be a good There's the siren. There's the siren. The Blues have won. But Barry Young will have a shot for goal after the siren. Barry Young. It won't make any difference to the result. But on the overall wash-up of percentage at the end of the year, it could. 42 career goals. He's kicked Barry Young. And what's he done with it? One behind. So one behind right in the final siren. Kicked by Barry Young. Carlton have won the match. Rice coming in and kicking two goals. Oh no, just two goals. Wasn't going to be a high scoring game, that's what big pressure football's about. But I thought we looked better when we got the bloody ball out of the centre, <coughs> right? Finally got it out of the centre because we got ba barely beaten in the centre bounce, right? <coughs> but by using the ball long and more direct to the glassy force, <coughs> you get it down there to Salmon and Blaney Alessio, and we'll get more goals. If you want to fart ass around, chipping it around all the time, then it'll cost you badly. And we had every opportunity to win the game, didn't we? Yeah. In all honesty, you know. I mean, I'm not, you know, uh, it was a Gary, wasn't it, with a handball or something like the game. Okay, that's the way it goes. At least you got the ball down there and then have another crack at goal. You didn't get the shits over all and drop your bloody bundle in the head. The disappointing loss, fellas, because you don't get the opportunity too often to play against sides in that one two spot. You've got a trip coming up to the West Coast. I'm going to get back and have a look and see how they play. No, tomorrow, is it? Yeah. Okay, so have a good look at the, the players that you're most likely going to line up against. Maybe when you go to that full forward, go down there. 
What we'll mount you again, and you got to drop down here, so we might get another goal there. As it was, you had a shot, didn't you? Now, then, you? you got nearly a shot of goal out of it. Darren, even when you go up in the centre, you know, if you're going into the centre bounce, you're still responsible right, for hitting the ball out. You've probably got it out a couple of times, all right? So it's so important that when you're going in there, for putting in there, you get it going our way. So it's a lift we need to lift from you, okay? Just on that point. Uh, Ricky, yeah. the ball goes down to the half forward line. Don't bring it in. Hit it out. We didn't want you to bring it in and create a ball. We want you to hit it out in our forward line, keep it alive. I mean, four minutes to go, boys. They're trying to get it to the boundary line, and we're helping them, right? We're sitting here saying, well, how can we restart the match and get it down through the centre corridor. We don't want to be playing outside. We don't want to be playing here, Southern Grandstand, right? And you've got that, and we're one goal down, minus one goal. And we're playing here. It was much better to try and bring it in there, but it hit it out in there. OK, even if they had gone down and got a bloody goal, that's the way it goes. I felt in the first quarter we, we kept them in the game, and I reckon that their seed of confidence grew better through our own poor play, and I think our own field kicking, our own field kicking, not through pressure by them in a number of occasions, was our own bloody downfall. So when we get out on the training track on Monday, let's start working at our kicking skills. We've had a jagged a training routine, okay, but let's make sure we get out there and we use the ball a lot better, okay, Ron? Essendon probably handball too much under pressure, that's what I said. Because you get to the big game, and there's not much time, is it, boy, Joe? No. All right, Joe? Not much time out there in the big stuff. It's all right, you might get away with one or two clubs, but when you're coming up to bloody finals-type pressure football, you've got to get the bloody thing moving, one or two handballs, and get the thing directly down to the four line a lot quicker. And we, look, to be honest, we probably needed that game. I think it'll give us and hold us in good stead for next week. I really believe that. Coming off wins against St Kilda and wins against probably Bears when you want to put your foot on the gas and the pedal at eight and nine goals up and then you just relax back into another mode. But I think when you're coming up against West Coast, that game should be a bloody good strong catalyst to make sure that we are one of the sides that can win against West Coast David and bloody third. David, Grimbo? Yeah, mate. Just you, you know, like getting caught with the ball early in the quarter. You know it's going to be hot. You know they're going to be absolutely bloody red up to try and, you know, retard you and get the bloody thing. I don't know where the players ran across the front of you, but just cut back and have a bit of a look. Get your awareness around you. But we lost a bloody turnover then. McCurry? Right. What did we talk about before the game? The opportunity to get the bloody ball. Kick it. You, you get the ball and you're looking for a handball. It's either there or it's not, isn't it? It's either there or it's not. Long your weight, mate. You'll be right on you because when you look at our stats, who's probably the most handballing side in the AFL at the moment? And they're going to say, well, and that's why that's a nail them every bloody time to stop that blow on the handball going. So you've got to be aware of those sort of things. Okay. Disappointing win. Bloody disappointing win because they've got, you won't know, get Carlton without Kernahan and Williams Torfin. So from that point of view, that's a very good win for bloody then. Now, we're going to match it up by making sure that we have a situation where we can pluck four points out of the bloody West Coast Eagles match where not many teams may, might win over there, but we can because we've got the pace and they are, they are susceptible to bloody pace and quickness. So for Christ's sake, heads up, get your minds on the bloody job, <coughs> out, got the ball tonight, back to train on Monday, let's get the West Coast. That's it, see you later. Thank you.